Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial with Cassiudis and uh, today what I have for you is a very easy to build block swapper as you can see it's uh, like one of those infinitely expandable designs and it's really really easy to build guys uh, of course I'm going to show you the redstone behind that, but before that let me show you still another example. So here is how you can use it with a lever. And this time I did, I choose not um, to make that effect where the lights would go one by one, I just wanted it to go all at once, and as you can see it's very fast. And you don't have to skip blocks, you can have uh, full lines and let me show you the redstone so that's it guys <laughs> that's all that is to this block swapper as you can see it's really slim, really compact and all that stuff uh, that you're seeing here is just to convert pulse, uh, uh, a lever signal to a pose so enough talking, let me show you how to build one of these so start by making a simple piston layout like this and this piston is the only one that needs to be a sticky one though the rest of the pistons can be uh, regular pistons so start by placing the blocks that you want to swap and place two blocks here with redstone on top another block with a torch block and a block here now place redstone here a torch here and you are down you can place your button right here and now you have the block solid and now you have uh, the lamp in order to expand it it's very easy as well I'm using sticky pistons here but you don't really need to it's just because they, they will work the same in this case and as down here and uh, pistons go here um, there is no redstone in the, this in that middle row because it will operate uh, with in a bud switch condition no matter what you do. I in the beginning I tried to to put um, to place repeaters behind that, but even though you have repeaters here, it will behave as a bud switch anyway. So, well, at least it's it's even more compact. Alright, as you could see by placing those lamps the, the blocks got updated and now you can uh, get the signal back here and let's test it. Alright, and your wall would be right here. So if you want to, to light those uh, lamps you could do something like this. Yeah, you don't even need that signal. You could do something like this, place a torch here and turn it on and it would work. Uh, that's exactly what I did here. Uh, behind those things, you can see that I used levers and that's how I power the, the lamps. And also here, um, between the units, I used uh, repeaters to, to give it that effect, I don't know what to call it, this wave, this wave effect on that and the weird thing is because this behaves as a bud switch you have to use those pistons here to update uh, the other guys if you are not placing them close to each other like in the example that I'm making with you guys so if, if you decide the if you decide not to have one of those like like this the rest of them will not work see <laughs> it's very weird but that's it guys you have to, to, to have something to update that piston so let's try it again yeah as you can see it works now and let me place the, the let me rebuild the system
Oh, right. So now if you want uh, to make it work with a pressure plate or maybe a lever, what you have to do is to use a dual wedge uh, detector. So in order to do that, you can activate this circuit with a 3 tick pulse. Uh, anything less than that will not make the system work properly. So let me show you with the button. You can see that it will be really faster. Just watch out because if you're, if you're uh, building that big, it can get you some lag spikes if you try to activate everything at once. So, uh, in order to place a lever here, you could uh, try to do something like this. Place a lever here, sticky piston. I like to use a redstone block and this redstone here, this torch here, and the block here. And you can close it like this. There are more compact ways to do that, I'm just showing you one of them. So every time you flick the lever now, it should work properly. And let light it. The cool thing about uh, making it work as a lever is that you can uh, make it work as well with a daylight sensor just like this so if now we make uh, night the lights will uh, turn on automatically and when the day comes they will be hidden again so that's uh, something cool about that and it's about everything that I wanted to show uh, today so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial uh, I made that inspired by MacBean. We were trying to get some lights in the castle and I believe that he can use the circuit. It might be helpful. Before that we were using a design by Callum K Minecraft, which is a good one. It uses less pistons. But there is a limitation uh, that you, we can only do 13 blocks because that's the limit that uh, piston will push. And that hopefully solves that case <laughs> so that's it guys see you bye bye what we can do and I I want to show you that those circuits are indeed very simple and very nice to have around